Hey guys, this is Brandon Dyke, and this is a quick little warm up you can do on the lower strings just to sort of synchronize your hands if you're going to start kind of doing the shredding thing, or if you're just going to solo or sort of pick up the guitar and just kind of get warmed up really quickly. This is something that you can do. It's basically just minor pentatonic um, driven, so I'm going from a G to an A to a uh, C to a D, and then an A to a C to a D to an E. Then I have, um, I'm actually doing two and four here going um, C to D, E to G, and then I'm doing D to E, and then G to A. So you won't be able to tell once this gets going because it's more like this. The best way to do it is just to really sort of slightly palm mute and just put a lot of articulation into your picking. So there it is. Now you can also try it all together without a break. This is very difficult because you're switching positions. Try it out. <laughs> it's kind of interesting how it works. I'm going to mute it heavily so I can get the feel of it. That's hard. To keep it going. And either way, those are really useful if you're um, playing either blues or rock or something and you want to in incorporate those bottom strings. <laughs> sort of a horizontal um, approach to soloing in the lower strings. I'm also putting a lot of pick slant on my pick. I'm actually, uh, I aim it towards the floor. Some people do the opposite direction, but aiming at 45 degrees to the floor helps me come off the string a lot quicker. Just really attack that last note on each one. There it is. play it slowly. Yeah. And you can angle the pick to the floor like that. So here's flat picking. I just kind of push it towards the ground on that angle. And my tip joint of the thumb just kind of helps me do that like that, right? And then basically I'm going to be running alternate picking, so down, up, down, up, etc. But the idea is that you can get off the string quicker with the pick slanted to the floor, where you're almost just sort of scratching the tip of that string with the pick. <laughs> I play 11 gauge strings, so the lower strings are quite thick. Um, you guys might be playing nines or tens and it might feel a little bit different. Also, if you move it right back to the bridge, you get a certain sound, right? Like much like what we would do with power chords. Sometimes we're gonna move things up and down depending on the tone that we want. So if I'm just up against the bridge and just barely muting, I can get more pitch into the sound if I move further this direction, I get less pitch and I get more percussion sound. So here's right next to the saddle there, the bridge. That's the idea. Now if I play it slower with the pick, you can see I'm kind of doing. I still have it angled just so that if I want to speed it up, I can. So watch the picking hand here. I can play it completely flat picked. Now you're going to get a lot more tone. But I still muted the strings out a bit. I'll play it without muting at all. So you should notice that there's a little bit more movement in my hand if I'm playing flat pick style, which is just that flat angle to the string. So here's... A, uh, completely um, a more movable approach to picking. 
Um, and sometimes too, you can bring these fingers in and get a nice articulation as well. It all really depends on what I'm trying to go for. So sort of a multiple pick personality disorder. <laughs> I'll have a whole entire lesson on that later on. And also I'm trying to float my left hand over the, over the strings. That's kind of cool too. You can keep that last note ringing if you want. That's kind of fun. That's it. Try that and it might be a great warm up for you and also just a way to synchronize your hands as you're about to play some good music. Thank you guys.